All right, what's up, guys? So we've got a new question today from our buddy Jess or Jesse, and she's saying she's having trouble remembering to do reality checks throughout the day, and she wants to know what she can do about this. She just says, "Is there any advice you can offer with this, or how to remember to do the reality checks?" Now, this is quite important because if you don't remember to do them, then they're not going to become a habit, and they're not going to show up in your dreams, which means you're not going to become lucid. So it's it's should be pretty straightforward that you need to be doing them regularly and you need to be remembering to do them but it's easier said than done right like most things so how to remember to do reality checks now the first i would say fairly obvious way is to set an alarm so don't rely on your yourself to remember it at first because that can be quite difficult especially if it's new to you and you're building up this habit and you've not been doing this uh, before so set an alarm on your watch say um Every two hours, set an alarm for every two hours, and whenever this alarm goes off, you do your reality check. Okay. Another way of doing it is to tie it with things that you do regularly. So I did a blog post about this quite a while back, actually. Um, I think it was like five best times to do reality checks or something like that. And in this blog post, I explained that the easiest way to remember to do a reality check is to tie it with something that you do often anyway throughout the day. So. Let's say whenever you go to the toilet, you have a little sticker on your mirror or in the door or something, or above the toilet, saying, "Are you dreaming?" And then that way, whenever you go to the toilet throughout the day, which I assume is fairly regularly, maybe four, five times a day. Obviously, it's different for everyone. You will see that, and you'll remember to do a reality check. And that you haven't had to physically remember, or mentally remember to do it. You you were just reminded by something that you were going to do anyway. So another example would be every time you go into a particular room, although this may be slightly too regular because you're going to be constantly going into certain rooms in your house. But maybe every time you you leave the house, on the door have uh, another uh, sticker, a poster note, for example, saying, "Are you dreaming?" And then that will remind you to do a reality check. So I'm just going to try and sort of off the top of my head think of a few things that you could do every day, or things that you could that you normally do every day. That you could attach a reality check to. So one of them, I guess, is when you uh, if you have a, a phone, mobile phone, on your lock screen, have uh, a reality check cue or reminder. So I used to have um, like a picture of someone sort of floating, or sort of hovering underwater, um, and then above it would say, "Am I dreaming?" So every time I unlock my phone, I would do a reality check. Another way is to have something written on your hand, or on your palm, or on your wrist, even. Say like a question mark or an L standing for lucid, or an A standing for awake. And then whenever you see that, which would be fairly often throughout the day, it would remind you to do a reality check. So you're not having to to remember, you're not having to put any effort into remembering to do it. You're just taking advantage of things that you do regularly throughout the day, and they sort of kickstart your memory and remind you, okay, I need to do a reality check. And then after a while. You'll be so used to doing it regularly that you will naturally remember to do it throughout the day, and you may even be able to do it without these cues and without these、uh, routine reminders, because it's going to be building up in your mind, and you're going to build up the habit of remembering to reality check, and it's going to become more of a constant thing instead of something you do every now and then. It's going to be more of a a constant awareness throughout the entire day of what you're doing, where you are, who you, you're around, that sort of thing. So hopefully this has helped. If you have any questions, please do send them into the YouTube channel or email me. And I'd just like to point out, I've only recently found out about this, but there is a way in which supporters like you guys can support small YouTube channels like me in making YouTube videos. And the way that you do this is through Patreon. And this is a great service. It's a way in which you can donate a certain amount of your choosing. I think the minimum is like about a dollar, so it's sixty p if you're from the UK. And you donate this every month, and it's called a pledge. And by doing this, if there's a handful of you guys, even just a small handful of you guys, donating small amounts every month, it means that I have much more time to focus on creating new videos. I don't have to worry about income as much. I don't have to maybe work a day job that I don't like. And instead, I can spend that time answering your questions, answering your emails, your messages, your your comments on my videos, all of this stuff. I can focus on making new videos, researching new topics, maybe even look at public speaking. And it's all made possible through Patreon. So if you really do enjoy these videos, 
you appreciate what I'm doing for you, please go ahead and check out the link in the description, which is my Patreon link. And if you do decide to pledge anything to me, I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.